what's up everybody? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneurs who want their content marketing to convert content consumers into paying customers. If your posts on TikTok aren't getting you much of any traction as a business owner and you're frustrated because you don't think your content marketing on that platform is getting you the three macro conversions you need, meaning more followers, more email opt-ins, and more sales, and now you're wondering if content marketing on TikTok's a waste of your time. Well, today I'm gonna share with you my TikTok hashtag tips for businesses. And look, I've been a coach since 2013. I've helped a lot of adult entrepreneurs get traction on platforms like TikTok. And yes, I even have a seven-figure success client, Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill, who at the time of this video being shot is nearing 800,000 fans or followers on the platform. And yes, they're getting more sales because of that presence and, and and look and hashtags well they're super important on a platform like TikTok believe it or not so if you don't master optimizing your content with them as a business owner well that can of course hamper your success when it comes to organic content marketing on the TikTok platform and I can help you for sure but wait before we go any further Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get the help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you can do more business. I recently did a video entitled, Why Don't Hashtags Work for TikTok? And I discussed that essentially they do and there's certain ways that you have to look at things to become more successful in terms of using hashtags on the platform. It's a great primer for this video you're watching now. So if you missed out on watching that previous video, I'd watch it right after you're done watching this one for more context that can help you out as a more mature entrepreneur who isn't using TikTok for fun. You're using it to grow your business conversions, all of them a lot, which you totally can do. That said, let's get more into the brass tacks of how to do that. So onto my more specific TikTok hashtag tips for businesses. Now look, hashtags matter on TikTok. So we're clear, much like Instagram does, TikTok uses hashtags in order to index or organize and store content for retrieval on its application. So that hexadecimal symbol is perhaps more important than you might have first thought. It's not just something those crazy kids use as part of their captions when they create, optimize, publish, and syndicate content on the TikTok platform. But here's something else you might not have thought about much or at all. Hashtags are digital breadcrumbs. Think of hashtags a different way here. They're like digital breadcrumbs that help members of your niche follow back and find your content and your business where they discover a piece of content in organic search and it leads them to your account. But keep in mind that you have to have like a pro or business account on TikTok in order to best leverage this particular set of TikTok hashtag tips for businesses. Since it's free to do so, I really do think that you should also make sure you go pro with your account. Why? So that you can have access to business account related tools such as analytics that will help you to understand your audience and create content that's more to their liking. Then over time, you'll not only have more people following you on TikTok. I mean, that's nice, would you? can't deposit followers in the bank, can you? But you'll also get more people on your email list and more people buying from you, whether they approach you in the messages on TikTok, like they do for a lot of my students, or they're just making purchases off app instead. It works, but then you need to remember also that community counts on TikTok. You should know that using hashtags as digital breadcrumbs not only helps people find you organically and actively in search, but it also helps the TikTok algorithm to determine what kind of audience your content should be served out to that aren't searching on, say, content optimized via a given hashtag right this second, but couldn't often do search for content like that. And voila, TikTok's algorithmic matchmaking helps you to find even more followers even faster than you otherwise would have without this assistance. This might just be happening via, say, your content hitting the for you tab or page on TikTok. 
And it's human nature, assisted by a machine learning algorithm, that the more you post content using those types of hashtags that your ideal customer or members of your niche would use when searching for content in connection with the type of interest that they have relating to the solutions you offer for sale as an entrepreneur to solve problems and or satisfy desires, well, the more you post content optimized with the same or at least similar or related hashtags that your people use to search on in connection with that interest, the more of an overall community that you'll create on TikTok over time. See, this is how you create a community on TikTok right now by using hashtags, hashtags that are related to an interest that people have in common. Hence, there's a community out there for you who will enjoy you and your content once they start finding you one piece of well-optimized content at a time in organic search on TikTok, that is. The more of a custom-crafted communal feel you create, both through your content itself and your engagement with comments that appear in connection with your content, the more followers you score and the more over time views you'll rack up, the more likes, engagements, and comments your content will collectively get, and the more likely it is that people will click on the link in your bio in connection with your TikTok profile. So that's two out of the three macro conversions that I mentioned earlier. How about sales? Well, that takes us to the subject of the magic TikTok hashtags. You don't just add any old hashtags when attempting to optimize your content. And as an entrepreneur, I feel overall that you should not be using trendy hashtags unless your content just so happens to intersect with a hot trend on TikTok, in which case that's the exception to the rule. Go ahead and use them. Instead, you should be using the magic TikTok hashtags, as I call them, which aren't necessarily industry-specific niche hashtags, although you're free to try those out. If members of your niche are advanced and will be conducting searches in connection with industry-specific hashtags, sure, go use them. Otherwise, do not, okay? You'll only be attracting more competitors if you do, and you're not selling to them, are you? So to be clear, when I'm talking about magic TikTok hashtags, I'm talking about the very hashtags that have to do with the wants and or needs of your narrowed down niche. Those are the hashtags that your ideal customers are searching for when they're looking up content to consume on TikTok. Therefore, at the heart of how my TikTok hashtag tips for business works is knowing your niche so well that you know the hashtags that they're likely searching on that relates to their intersecting interest, meaning that from studying your niche thoroughly, you know what hashtags to use to optimize your content that directly relates to what your niche is interested in. So their searching on these hashtags would end up intersecting them with or connecting them with your business in terms of the content that you're creating because they're finding your content via their hashtag related search because you properly optimized your content with, again, the hashtags that they are searching on. And that content that you create, of course, should be all about how the products and or services that you can offer them will help them solve problems and or satisfy the desires they have in connection with that intersecting interest that brought them to you via search in the first place. So use as many hashtags as you can in that tiny caption space you're given to spread out more digital breadcrumbs per piece of content for your ideal customer to find and search on the TikTok platform using the discover feature, let's say at the bottom of their screen to start. It's so easy to search for content on TikTok and adults are doing that way more than kids are, trust me. And it's the adults you're selling to. Each hashtag really does represent a way in which your ideal customer can find you on TikTok. Why would you not want to take advantage of every single way to be discovered that you can get? No one's likely searching for your business name, especially if your business itself is new or you're new to content marketing on TikTok or both. So I wouldn't use a hashtag that has to do with your business name if you're tight on space and can't fit it in. No worries, your ideal 
customer will find you on TikTok if you give them enough chances to do so, especially if you're optimizing your posts in an intelligent way using hashtags. So you have to ask yourself if you're selling equipment that hikers could use, for example, what would the hiking enthusiast be searching on in terms of hashtags in order to bring up and search and see the video content they want to consume on TikTok? What would the hiker be searching for? Not the word hiker necessarily, but for example, but perhaps their search for t content on TikTok would involve things like hashtag mountain hike, hashtag hiking gear, or hashtag hiking gear hack. Get it? See, it's not enough to just shove a ton of hashtags into your content as you publish it. You have to be very, very particular about the hashtags that you use, which means you have to stand in the shoes of your ideal customer and think of search terms, in this case, hashtags, the way you're sure they're likely to do. Given your research into them and your fine-grained understanding of them as member of your niche, the member of your niche that your business serves. Once you've stood in your niche's shoes, you're more likely to start using their search terms or hashtags to optimize your content with, and well, what do you know? You're more likely to be found on TikTok by the very people your business is meant to serve in the first place. The riches are in the niches, and the niches can be mined with content marketing on TikTok that's not just optimized, but optimized in a way that your digital breadcrumbs will actually be found by members of your niche in their search efforts in the first place. Once you have the first two macro conversions in place, meaning increased followers and increased email opt-ins, because the link in bio should be to your email opt-in page, not your website in order to capture the leads. The third one, sales, won't be too far behind. The more intelligently you optimize your content with hashtags, the more your new followers will get to know, like, and trust your brand and its custom-crafted, community-building, relationship-based marketing content. Content market on TikTok and persistently and consistently enough, the KLT factor and the no like and trust factor will eventually be so strong, the rapport becomes so great that you'll get messages on TikTok via the messages from interested parties who want to buy your products or enjoy access to your services because they feel familiar with you as a business on TikTok. They have KLT with you. They understand you. And because of your content marketing efforts, it's clear to them that you as the business owner understand people like them too. Not everyone, people exactly like them. And people are willing to pay more for custom crafted solutions that are made for people just like them too. Added bonus, right? Now, there you have it. This is my answer when it comes to the subject of TikTok hashtags tips for businesses. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy.